Dear men, I'm sorry. Now I think I first realized I was gay or attracted to men when I was about 12, 13. Now notice I say accepted, but that's not really true. I think it's more realized. Accepted took many, many years later, but realized more like, oh damn, who that boy? More of that. And ever since then, and over the past few years, as I have had greater contact with men, whether uh, through work, whether uh, sexually, whether through friends, do all of those things, I have realized that my relationship with men has changed. The way I look at men, the way I behave around men, the way I perceive men has somehow reached a point where I'm noticing thought processes that are not so great. Um, and so I do have a lot of apologies to make. Um, I really would like to apologize to all of the men that I've encountered in my life. Whether I've spoken to you, whether um, we've slept together, whether I fantasized about you, whether I've communicated or had any kind of conversation with you, whether I've fantasized, have I said fantasized? I think I said fantasized already, but let's just add that. <laughs> fantasized, gawked at, stared at, and any of those things, I really sincerely want to apologize because I don't think I have been treating you fairly. Because what I've noticed lately is that I think I've reached a point where I've started to look at men as sex objects, as uh, pieces of meat, as um, just beings to satisfy a lust or a craving of the sexual or physical kind. And I don't think that is very fair to men. Like, say all of you, you know? I don't think that's fair at all because you are not just pieces of meat. You are not just objects to be uh, gawked at or stared at or fantasized about. You are human beings with potential and possibility and you should not be just defined or categorized or recognized for just your physical parts or your phys the physical representation of your parts. And so I'm really sorry. And so for me, the way I can work on it is to constantly work on the way I behave as a man, how, what my masculinity is, what my energy is like, but also the way I perceive other men. Because I've also realized that I don't have a lot of guy friends. I have more female friends because I get along with them better and it's just so much easier. And I think this possible attraction or this the way I've perceived men has interfered with that. Now don't get me wrong, I have awesome guy friends, uh, mostly gay, um, and I'm really grateful for all of you. But I think this is something I need to work on so that I am able to perceive men in a better light and treat men possibly better, even if it's just subconscious, because I'm not doing anything outwardly, but it's all happening in my head. And so that's something I want to work on, because I think that will work on the kind of man that I am, the kind of person that I am, and the energy that I bring into the world. And I think what really bothers me about this behavior and thought patterns is the fact that these, this is the exact same behavior which pisses me off when I see it in straight men. When straight men objectify women, uh, when straight men stare at women, when straight men don't know how to respect women, this is the exact same behavior that pisses me off when I see it in straight men. So I find it rather ironic that I am starting to do it to other men. And so that's something I feel I need to work on. So. All the men, dear men, I'm sorry. I really do apologize sincerely. Um, and I do hope that the next time I meet one of you guys, I'll be able to perceive you as another human being, uh, another source of light, instead of just commodifying you to your physical bits. Thank you so much. I hope you accept my apologies. Love and hugs, Dinesha.